Hello, here is an aspirate from a posterior triangle neck lump in a 26-year-old lady. And we can see that there is a very cohesive sheet or even a, almost a tissue fragment of cells which appear to be epithelial in nature. There are some orangophilic areas here. And this is another area where you can again see a cohesive sheet of cells. Uh, more of a similar appearance with these cohesive tissue fragments, some orangophilic areas, and some uh, cells over here. There is a hint that this might be a multinucleated giant cell. Uh, the cells themselves within the sheets actually look fairly uniform. If you look at the nuclei, they are very oval, and um, they appear to be quite similar in size and shape to each other within this sheet. Here is a close-up view of another area, and uh, we can see these relatively uniform basaloid appearing cells, and this is the orangophilic material. I'm going to focus up and down in the middle of this uh, tissue fragment so that we can have a better look at these very thick areas. And when we focus up and down, we can begin to see that there are some nuclei that appear to be degenerating or fading off within these orangophilic areas. Here is another such area and again you can see these cells and uh, they kind of blend in into these more orangophilic areas. At a higher power view we see the nuclei are becoming somewhat pyknotic, they are smaller, they are shrunken, uh, atrophic and in some areas uh, almost disappearing. In other areas, there are also multinucleated giant cells, some of which are associated with this orangophilic material. And here is a higher power view of the uniform cells with oval nuclei and very sparse or very scant cytoplasm. So these cells do have a kind of a basaloid appearance. On the air-dried smears, again, we can see these multinucleated giant cells. And in some areas, this bluish flaky material that is reminiscent of keratinized cells. This is an example of a pylometric soma or a pylometricoma, which is a benign adnexal tumor. And classically on cytology, we would see sheets of basaloid, very uniform cells. There may actually be mitotic figures which may be plentiful, especially in young patients or children. Uh, and there may also be some orangophilic or yellowish material in the background, and sometimes this can be mistaken for malignant keratinized cells. Uh, here, here is some of the orangophilic material, and um, also there are very often large multinucleated giant cells um, containing many, many nuclei. We may see calcifications and also some scattered inflammatory cells in the background. And a very characteristic feature, which is also seen on histology, is the presence of ghost cells. So we will see the basaloid cells which are viable and they sort of blend into these more orangophilic areas where the nuclei become smaller, atrophic, pyknotic, and then they disappear. Sometimes you can also see these empty spaces where the nuclei used to be. And this is very characteristic for pylometricoma. It is important to know of this entity because it is a differential diagnosis for metastatic carcinoma, especially metastatic squamous cell carcinoma in cervical lymph nodes. One of the important clues is the age of the patient. So this usually occurs in young adults or even children. And often in the head and neck region. They are fairly superficial most of the time. And also when the FNA is being performed, there may be a gritty feeling due to the presence of calcification.